Hi everybody, welcome to All In Our Technology. I'm here today in China, uh, in Zhuhai. Um, All In Our is a technology company whose core technology is microprocessors. They license uh, that technology from ARM and we make a range of multi-core and sort of single-core processors. Uh, so here we, I have a PCB and on this PCB you can see one of All Winner's V-series processors. So this would be used in something like a video camera or some kind of security device or video device. Uh, and in front of me, as you can see, we have some other products that feature our processors. Uh, most of the processors go into consumer electronics, uh, things that you're probably familiar with. Even though you might not be familiar with a winner, uh, you might be familiar with some of our products. So uh, as you can see on the left hand side here, I have a tablet device. This has our A83T optical processor. Uh, and next to that, we have the A64 tablet. Uh, this is a new product, it's currently on Kickstarter. This is using a quad-core 64-bit processor. Uh, here we have sort of a lower-end A33 quad-core processor. And finally, we have our H8 processor. Uh, and this is in quite an interesting device. So you don't need a mobile phone, you don't need a computer. Uh, all the technology is built into this headset. So through this video, uh, one by one, I'm just going to go through these products, uh, talk about them a little bit, uh, and help show you what a winner does uh, and how our technology makes a difference uh, in the technology industry. Okay, so the first product I'd like to talk about is this tablet device. Uh, this features our A83T optical processor, so that's an 8-core processor. And the reason I'd like to start with this device is, for all winner, the tablet market is kind of where it all began. Uh, it's where they first sort of made their application processors for that market. In 2012 and 2013, Orwin actually outsold Apple, outsold Samsung. Uh, their SOCs were inside more tablet devices than anyone else globally. Uh, so looking at this tablet device, uh, as you can see, it's sort of a standard Android device with a sort of stock Android OS on it. Like I said, as you can see, your sort of standard Android layout, you've got your Google search bar at the top. Uh, unfortunately, we're in China, so, so that's not going to work. Uh, but if we go to the home page, uh, you can see some of the apps here. So all your sort of standard apps that you get on, on Android devices, uh, you can see them all on this device. I've actually used these devices, spent a little bit of time using these devices. Normally, I use uh, iPad Air 2. Uh, the iPad Air 2, obviously, is a very, very good device. Uh, very good build quality, but actually going from the iPad Air 2 to using this device, you don't feel the difference as much as you might imagine going from a sort of top-end premium device uh, down to these devices. You would expect to sort of really feel a big difference there. Uh, on the back, you can see it has the, the all-winner logo there uh, and a, a 2 megapixel camera. Um, just to give you some idea of the thickness of this device, uh, here I have a S7 Edge, uh, the new Galaxy smartphone, uh, and you can see that the tablet's it's a fairly slim device, um, sort of fairly similar in thickness. Um, so this device is, is steel back, uh, a glass front, uh, the build quality is, is fairly solid, it's a fairly rugged device, and as I mentioned it's got the octa-core processor, so this is a slightly higher end tablet device. Um, a little bit sort of quicker than the other tablet that, that was uh, on the table earlier. Um, so we'll just go through some of the features, have a look at the OS on this device. Uh, most of the things are fairly standard on here, sort of your camera, your app store. Um, you can also maybe use some, some other applications on this device. Okay, so before we end the video, we'll just go through the products one more time. So we started off with the A83T tablet device. Uh, and then we went on to talk about the Aspen $69 laptop uh, and that had our E64 processor. Like I say, this product is now available to support on Kickstarter if you are interested in the laptop device. Uh, and then we went on to talk about the E33 tablet device, which was a quad-core device, uh, a little bit lower performance, lower cost device than the A83T. Uh, and as you can see, it, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot more compact. Uh, maybe, personally, I prefer the build quality of this device, it feels quite nice, it feels quite solid. Uh, but again, this is a very sort of low-cost device here. Uh, and the final device that we looked at was the, the VR headset, which was, like I say, quite an exciting device. Uh, this is the sort of first available commercial VR headset. 
Um, so that gives you some idea of the products that we have at All Winner. Like I say, we don't make these products, but it's our technology that powers these products. Uh, so I hope in the future that I can show you more products coming out of Guangzhou, coming out of Shenzhen. Uh, and it gives you a little bit of an insight into the technology industry in China uh, and, and sort of shows you where it's at and where products are going. Uh, obviously the quality is getting much, much better. Uh, the features are becoming much, much better. Um, so I think it's an exciting future here in China uh, and at All Winner. So I hope to see you again. Thank you.